All right, this is the practice ACT questions uh, re relating to logs and exponentials. And this is number five, where we have to um, solve this for x. So one note is like if we had no clue, you could plug in your different values for x and see if you could get one that works. That would be one route. Um, other than that, I think this is going to be a little bit goofy, but I'm going to try switching forms. I'm not sure if this is actually going to help, but I'm going to take this side and I'm going to say I have a log with a base of 8 and log means find exponent. So I'm going to write on this side my exponent 2x plus 1, focusing on this side, and then this would be my value. So I'd have 4, 1 minus x, which is still a little weird. Okay, but uh, this is where I think the log properties now are going to come in handy because this is an exponent and with my log properties, we can move that down front. So then I would have 1 minus x, all right, times log base 8 of 4 equals 2x plus 1. And then this is just a number, log base 8 of 4. We can use our calculator. So if you have that fancy key, you can do it, do it that way. Or you can just do log of 4 divided by log of 8. So I'll show the way... That works with almost every calculator. Log 4 divided by log 8, as long as you have a log button. So that gives us about two-thirds, right? So that's fun that it's a decimal. Now I have 1 minus x times two-thirds equals 2x plus 1. And now it's just a regular equation I should be able to solve, right? So I'm going to distribute this in. So we get two-thirds minus two-thirds of x equals 2x plus 1, right? And then I would add 2 thirds x to both sides since we have x on both sides. So that would give us just 2 thirds on this side. This would be gone. And so we'd have 2 and 2 thirds x plus 1, all right? And now I'm going to minus 1 from both sides. So that would give us negative 1 third equals 2 and 2 thirds x. And now we got to divide both sides by 2 and 2 thirds. So this gets really messy, but um, maybe I would do decimals at this point. So I would take, to get x here, I would just do negative, I can show you on the calculator, negative point three 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 three. that's 1 third. And I'm going to divide it by 2 and 2 thirds. So that'd be 2.66666666, right? And that would give us, uh, okay, so that's a decimal. And now it's like, oh, what the crap? I have fractional answer. So I don't know if it's going to work, but on these calculators, you can do um, math and then go to frac number one, and it'll turn it into a fraction, hopefully. Except it doesn't because it doesn't like this stupid thing here on the end. Um, and that's because I kind of rounded it. So that didn't work. So let's go back and see. So these ones are out. It's got to be one of these. And I would just, I know it's not one third, right? That's not the right decimal. And in fact, one negative one fourth would be negative 0.25. So I can just kind of check. Let me see if I do one divided by eight. And technically, I know it's negative one, but I can see that that is going to be the right decimal. So that has a little bit of uh, work there, but ends up being this uh, as our answer. Okay, kind of a tricky one, but it's a good, good application of our log properties. Thanks for watching.